something very similar happens to the Earth, and we call this process the Milankovitch Cycles. They are governed by three major changes in the Earth's movement through space, all of which affect how much radiation we receive from the Sun. One is called eccentricity. That's variation in the shape of the Earth's orbit around the Sun. There is a slow transition between a near circular orbit and a slightly oval shaped orbit. This fluctuation happens over a period of about 100,000 years. Two is axial tilt. The Earth spins on a slightly tilted angle that fluctuates between 22 and 24 degrees over a period of around 40,000 years. Higher levels of tilt produce more extreme seasons, and less tilt results in smaller variation between summer and winter. Three is called precession. This is a slow wobble that the Earth makes on its axis of rotation, kind of like a spinning top. This wobble happens over a period of around 26,000 years, and it affects the timing of the seasons like an early spring or late fall. We know a lot more about the Earth and its history than we do about Mars, so we can't say for sure that it goes through the same kind of cycles, but there's also no reason to say that it doesn't. And if it does, then there might be a perfect combination of orbit and rotation that warms the North Pole and causes it to release water vapor, which then blankets the Northern Hemisphere in snow that melts into water. And maybe once every billion years or so, that cycle releases enough water to flood the planet. Now here is the wild speculation. In all of that wet, slushy soup of minerals, an alien microbe may have evolved to survive by slowly hydrating and dehydrating over millions of years. And we found it. 